So hello and welcome to the computer lab on YouTube and in this tutorial video we're going to look at how to create a blurred background on an image using Affinity Photo. So if that is something you are trying to do or something you are interested in then please do carry on watching this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is obviously open Affinity Photo up. It's so like anything on a computer, there is a couple of ways to do this type of technique. I'm just going to show you one way, but I'm also going to show you a thing that I like to do when I'm doing this type of technique, uh, where I like to cut out the image and use that on top of an original image. So with that being said, I have downloaded these two images. I've got the main file here, this woman in the office, and I've also done a copy file, which you can see here. And I'll show you why I've done that in a minute uh, when I get into the actual video. So we're gonna open this particular original file up. I won't open the copy up just yet. We'll open that in a second. So now we have the file open, let's get uh, the blurred background applied. So you notice this already has a blurred background as such, uh, but we might want to blur it even more to make the woman stand out and pop a bit more on the picture. Uh, so you're, if, you are, if you are working with an image, yours might be uh, all in focus that you're trying to blur out the, the back section as it would be. So I'm gonna be using the um, brush tool. And if you're not sure how to use the brush tool, I do have another video on my YouTube channel, which I will indicate now up on the top. So if you want to just use, um, learn how to use the brush tool, then that video is the one to watch before you um, get stuck into this blurred background one. So I'm gonna pick up on the brush tool. And when I'm using this brush tool, it might take a minute or so just to select her out. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, picking her out of the image. Um, so I will speed this section up as I do the outline of the woman. Okay, so now I have the uh, woman selected out of the picture, I can, at this point, I can refine the image, which basically means, especially when you're dealing with hair, you can sort of tidy up around the hair and get um, Affinity Photo to do some more processing work around there. So what I'll tend to do at this point is hit the refine button, it then applies this red matte to the picture, and we can zoom in on the image maybe that we want to, a part of the image that we want to refine. So you'll notice around the hairline here, it's picked up sort of around the outside edge of the hairline, so it's not gone from the insides. So we might want Affinity Photo to just sort of try and tidy up a bit more around there. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time working on the hairline, uh, but if I was doing this um, out of the tutorial and doing it for real, I would probably spend a lot more time just tidying the image up. Uh, so we've got her uh, refined, we've got her zoomed in, and we've got the refined selected. So now we can just paint over the top what the areas we want to refine. So especially around this hairline, you can see the grey coming through from the background. Let it refine. You can see it's picked up that quite well. Uh, and maybe just round here a bit. Do that. And maybe just try and work just a little bit around there. And I think that'll probably be enough. It's probably taken a bit too much out. So we'll leave it at that because I'm quite happy the way it's done around here. Um, I'll just tidy them a little bit up just to give it a bit of character and a bit of... Um, selection around the hairline and once we're happy with it we can click and apply and you can see it's picked up the different uh, individual hair strands in certain areas where i've just spent a bit of time picking them up so i'll make it so i can see the full picture again so at this point now we have the lady selected out of the image so we now need to invert the pixel selection because we want to blur the background so we go up to select and then we invert pixel selection from here, which is control shift and I, if you're on a Windows machine. Invert pixel selection. Now we have it inverted. Now we can apply the actual filter. So we go down to the right hand side, uh, just under our layers section. And you can see one that says live filters. We click on that, it brings up a list. The one right at the top is the Gaussian blur is the one that we want to select. Pick on that one. And then from here, we can now ramp the radius up. So as I ramp this radius up, you'll see that the background blurs out. And depending on how blurred I want the image to be, I can ramp it up and down on here. You'll notice around the edge, it goes transparent. But for this particular image, I don't want a blurred um, edge around the outside. So we click on Preserve Alpha. That gets rid of the uh, transparency around the edge of the image. And then if we're happy with the... I'm just going to throttle it down a little bit. Maybe go to about 40 points. And then I'll leave it at that. 
and then to unselect we push Control and D and that unselects the image and now we have our blurred background and the woman on this background so obviously straight away you can see that it makes her pop and stand out more from the picture or the image but at the beginning I said about doing the copy so if I open the copy and I'll just show you what I usually tend to do so I'll do a copy let's open the copy up so this is a copy of the original image and you can see between the two this is the non blurred background and this is the one with the blurred background on and the reason why I've done the copy is because it's a, a non-destructive way of doing the image without destroying your original image. So again, you've got to pick out the woman using the pen tool or pick out the person or whatever you're doing on your image. So I'll do that again. Okay, so we've done the same again on this copy of the image. Um, and now from here, what I can do is by just going up to the top, click on my move tool. So I'll make sure that we have the selection selected with the bounding box around it. Then we right click on there and we click on cut or copy. If you cut it, you'll see what I've done. So it's cutting the actual image out. So once you've got your subject cut out uh, or copied, you can then go back to the original image that we were working on. And then we can right click, well, if we actually go up to the top here where it's got the a menu and we'll make sure that we have the move tool selected. So it puts a bounding box around and then we can right click on the image, you can right click on anywhere on here and we can just click paste and it will paste a copy of the subject that we have cut out from the other image. So if I go to my layers, you'll see that I have two now in here and this is the, now a copy of this woman on top of this image. And because I pasted it in, it, put her, it puts her straight back into the original position and I can snap her back on there anyway if I just hover her back over and sort of go to there. And the reason why I like to do it this way is because you can apply different effects once you have this image cut out. And what I mean by that is if I have this um, background selected here it's actually the whole image that we have selected we can apply lighting effects and stuff like that but if we want to put a border say around this um, subject here then we can do that by picking up on the image we have just cut and paste from the copy of the image go into effects click on outer glow and then obviously apply a radius and then this is a white outer glow for this particular subject. And you can see it makes her stand out more. And this is quite common at the moment um, and used quite a lot in the thumbnails that people use on YouTube videos, which you'll notice if you look at some of the big YouTubers, they'll um, put an image of a person of themselves and they'll put a white outer glow around it. Okay, so that is how to blur the background in a photograph using Affinity Photo. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do give the video a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make. And any comments, good or bad, are always appreciated on my channel. And thanks again for watching The Computer Lab on YouTube.